Although it's not my favourite Audrey Hepburn film, I do absolutely adore Funny Face. And I actually think it was one of the first Hepburn films that I watched. Maybe not the first, I can't remember. But it is brilliant. This was released in 1957, directed by Stanley Donen, written by Leonard Gersh and starring the fabulous Hepburn and Fred Astaire. I love Fred Astaire. And I love Audrey Hepburn even more. And this has an amazing premise. So the description from IMDb is one sentence, no spoilers, and this reads as follows. An impromptu fashion shoot at a bookstore brings out a new fashion model discovery in the shop clerk. So this this is a comedy and it is absolutely brilliant. So Hepburn plays Jo Stockton who works in a bookstore. She's the antithesis of a model. She's very plain. She's not interested in fashion. She's not really that fond of models and Dick Avery played by Fred Astaire is one day in there for a specific reason and he sees her and he thinks yes actually she could be a model and he convinces her to give it a go and there's some pretty pretty hilarious tense scenes when she's taken to the magazine headquarters and she's not what anybody would have expected. She is, you know, she's obviously, it's very stereotypical in some ways because she's very intellectual. You know, she works in the bookstore and the models in the magazine are a lot more, shall we say, focused on their appearance rather than their brains. And she's an absolutely fantastic character. And she does decide to become a model or try it out, but for a specific reason. It's because she gets the chance to go to Paris. And it's all about, you know, how will she feel when she goes to Paris? Will she warm to the modelling? Will she change her opinion about models? Or will she ultimately go back to her old life? What makes this work even more than the brilliant narrative, which I have to say is fantastically paced, brilliantly executed. I have no complaints about the narrative. I have no complaints at all, actually, because what makes this work even more is Hepburn's fantastic performance as Jo. I love the character. I adore her. I love her attitude, I love her interests, I love the way she responds to different situations. The on-screen chemistry with Astaire is fantastic. Joe and Dick Avery are very interesting to watch. It's great to see their relationship, friendship, whatever you want to call it, blossom. There is some romance in this, but Joe has quite an adventure. And I love the way she reacts to her surroundings and you know, all these new experiences. It was actually an Oscar-nominated film. It was nominated for Best Costume Design, Best Art Direction, Best Cinematography, and Best Writing. It didn't win any of those, unfortunately, but it did win... Hepburn won Best Actress at the Faroe Island Film Awards, and it got the top 10 films at the National Board of Review, and I believe there was... Uh, oh, yes, it also got the award at the National Board for the Photographic Innovations. It's a great film, very well shot, beautifully put together. It's delightful fun, it is funny. Very much driven by Hepburn's character. Fred Astaire and Hepburn are fantastic. On-screen chemistry is amazing. The narrative is just beautiful. If you are new to Hepburn's work and you don't know where to start, most people tend to start with Breakfast at Tiffany's. But to be honest, that's not one of my favourites. I would say Funny Face is a fantastic introduction to Hepburn if you're new to her work. And of course to Fred Astaire as well. I think it's a beautiful film.